So my part of the um, afternoon session is to continue what uh, Russell said and talk a little bit more about the uh, international uh, standardization uh, that is currently ongoing in ISO, in CEN, and also the uh, German involvement in that. Uh, does it work? Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, then I have to do it manually. Right. Um, yeah, just about myself. Um, I think I have been working actively in the certification arena for uh, quite some while, uh, starting with Building Smart almost 20 years ago. Uh, uh, I think in 1996, uh, but uh, meanwhile I also got uh, the responsibility to lead the German Dean Standardization Group for Building Information Modeling, which is this uh, Dean uh, Working Group uh, 39. And recently I was um, elected as a convener of the Working Group 2 of CEN, which is the uh, data exchange for the European Standardization Organization. Uh, so that means uh, some fields of this overall uh, landscape of uh, uh, standardization. And this work is done uh, with support and, uh, in the name of Plan Bauen 4.0, which is the new organization in Germany to, which, yeah, to bring forward the BIM agenda and also to coordinate standardization for Germany. Um, just I'm always showing this rather old slide saying if we want to go from being lonely and close to being more open and broad, we need standards. Because otherwise we will never reach uh, to this end. Um, I think that's an, an obvious, uh, obvious slide. And we need standards for many aspects definitely for data, but also for processes, for classification, for, for uh, dictionaries, um, and, and, and also for, for uh, in some regard for some workflows. Um, the organization DEAN, which, where I'm heading the um, BIM development, or the, the BIM standard standardization, is, let's say, by law, responsibility for Germany's interaction with the European international arena. So important uh, European and also international standardization activities are so-called mirrored. I mean, you have a one-to-one -one correspondence to uh, groups that are uh, established within DEAN. And so that's why I think DEAN is responsibility to follow and to influence and, uh, yeah, and, and to be engaged with the uh, European and international standards. I think this slide, I think we have, you have seen a, a few times, um, which we put together in order to show the correspondences between the various um, uh, standard groups, international, European, uh, DEAN, and VDI. But I think it's also important to understand that there are other uh, groups out there, not at least Burning Smart, that has been active in developing BIM standards, or at least pre-standards, for a very long time, but also others like uh, CFM Ring, which is very uh, active in defining standards for digital facility management, GEFMA is another facility management group, and others. And I think this landscape also shows that we need to have some coordination, and that's, I think, is also the role of Planbound to organize this. Uh, another slide which I'd like to show is when we look at uh, German standards that are uh, uh, existing, you will see that the amount of national standards that are just defined by German groups is actually decreasing, whereas the amount of European standards is rather increasing. Um, and I believe that also BIM, which is international, or at least a European endeavor, we will have a, a similar uh, picture, that we have to coordinate more with Europe at least in defining standards, and not just looking at Germany. So for that, uh, we have now succeeded to mirror 
the U European activities here. You see Europe, it's the SEN uh, Technical uh, Committee 442. It has um, the, the Secretariat and four working groups, and we have mirrored this now one-to-one, -one, uh, also including the same naming conventions uh, here under DEAN. So we have a one-to-one -one correspondence, and we are, are now have achieved to be present in all these uh, European working groups, so we have experts nominated there. There's still room for one or two more, but essentially we have nominated the experts to work uh, in Europe. Um, where we have established all these uh, Dean working groups. They have uh, uh, working group leaders now. I think most of this year's work was actually more organizational, just to make it happen, that we now really mirroring the international and European work. I think from now on, we have to switch also more into productive working and on the real definitions. So, so until now, I think it was a lot of uh, organizational work to be done. Um, there are two highlights in Europe. I think um, within this working group two uh, exchange information, there is a new work item, also called P PWI. It's a preliminary work item uh, for defining LODs, the level of developments, definitions, uh, disaster, as I normally say, because there's such a such a little understanding, common understanding, what this actually means. Uh, so this initiative was actually initiated by Dean itself, so it's a German initiative, and it's now out for balloting to be, to be accepted as a new work item in Europe. And at the same time, uh, we see, actually, sorry, it was three new initiatives uh, in the area of data dictionaries, catalogs, they are all initiated from France, uh, to provide European guidance in developing uh, catalogs essentially for product information. So what product definitions should be out, how to secure quality, uh, right governance, and so on for product catalogs. So these are the, the main activities right now in, uh, in CEN. I have then asked uh, these uh, four work, uh, working group leaders to provide me with a slide for today just to show you an update on what's ongoing in each of the four working groups. So working group one is strategy. Uh, and you see at the beginning how it interacts internationally. There's an international group to call Task Force 2, led by Mark Pugh in UK, which should set up a kind of international standardization agenda for, for BIM or digitalization. Uh, it's now mirrored in Europe and also in Germany. And one of the first activities, which actually was also part of, of our input to the European work, is not to start top down. I mean, sitting there and think what could be the future, but actually uh, ask the, uh, the basic, uh, the, 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 um, yeah, the experts itself, uh, to what do they need, think it's needed. So our first activity here is uh, to create an online uh, survey, which is currently in preparation. Uh, it will hopefully go out by the end of the year, which then should be circulated to all uh, national experts through Plan Bauen and all the associations, so that they should fill in to say what's actually needed from the uh, practitioners, what standards are actually needed, what we should focus at. And with this, we would like to balance the more top-down approach from Mark, who has thought what should be the future. Maybe both together could be uh, a good uh, strategy for uh, international standardization work. Um, Without the working group two uh, data exchange, um, again you, you see the structure internationally in, in Europe and in, in Germany. There are currently three activities. The first two are, are active. Um, uh, the, the first one is the, the definition of a common understanding on LODs, particularly in terms of, uh, of, of terms. And uh, the second one deals with the so-called container formats. We have seen that there are almost competing standards out, like in the Netherlands coins, in Germany, this Mephisto container. Um, container formats is where you can put, for example, an IFC file, a GAPE file, and the link between the two in one zip package. So you can send the, the building model together with the license verzeichnis. Description of work, or specification of work, uh, or building of quantity, okay, uh, in, in one file. And then the third group should uh, look at how to expand the property set definitions, particularly to reflect the 
European uh, uh, standards on product classifications and so on. Um, so we had a very interesting uh, workshop at CEN for the LOD definitions. Um, we had good input from a PhD student from Italy. She presented us all the history of it and the different uh, terms and definitions. And in the moment, it's ongo uh, the, the balloting will start on it. And the first idea was not to define the level of the, uh, LODs in terms of what a wall exactly should look like in a phase two, but first, do we have a common understanding what the terms mean? LOD, LOG, LOI, and so on. And do we have a common understanding on the, on the notations? Are we using 100 to 500, like US, or 1 to 5, like uh, UK, or A to E, like proposed in, uh, in Italy? And I actually wanted to come up that in Germany we should use the Roman letters, 1 to 5, just to be different. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that that's maybe the first idea we, we, uh, uh, the first thing we have to solve to get a common understanding on that and also how it connects to life cycle phases and so on. I mean, to have, have the base understanding there. Um, then we have uh, working group three uh, that's mainly, mainly relating to uh, processes and information management. Um, and again, you see the structure here. And most of the work is actually concentrating right now on this upcoming ISO standard 7950, which is the international successor of the British standard 1192-2 and 3 on information management using BIM. And I think we had been able to create a very active German group with many participants. We also part now or engaged in the editorial board on the international level. So I think we have managed to make this uh, standard initiative a little bit broader and just not just UK. Um, I think the current status is it's a committee draft, which is not yet green, as I don't know what that <laughs> would mean, light green maybe. And I think from the German side, I think we voted with yes, because I think we are quite confident that the work is now going in the right direction. And then finally, we have um, the working group four, which is about uh, catalogs or dictionaries. And again, you see the uh, international and European uh, work. And there are currently three new work items proposed by France, uh, two about uh, product data templates, uh, a structure, and uh, a, fr uh, a, a framework of, of templates, template definition by themselves, uh, which we are quite happy will relate to a building smart standard like I IFC to be, uh, let's say, connected to this. And uh, also, which is quite, quite important, is the last one, a methodology to describe also and maintain properties, because it's not just important to set up a, a property definition server. We also have to maintain it. You have to ensure quality and so on. So this is a, a French-led uh, proposal, but I think our working group was also in favor of that. Um, and yeah, these are some of the ideas. And it's also well connected, let's say, in Germany with uh, VDI, I think it's actually uh, page, ni uh, page nine, not eight, but, uh, and uh, with other organizations here. So I think with this, I, I want to finish, and I hope I gave you an overview on what's going on in the kind of international standardization and how Germany is now actually starting to sit at least in the same vehicle, and at one or two occasions already on the front seat, which was quite different two years ago. Thank you. <laughs>